Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time for something new. It's time for a new era. A Mo era. <laughs> you don't know what this is? I don't either. Let's go. Oh, what is my name? It is Clifford. Bye bye. It is Clifford. Of course it is. So, yeah, trying something a little bit different. Oh, we're waking up. Oh, Taya. Whoops. I was just staring at you when you were asleep. Now I've got your attention. <laughs> this is already off to a great start. Human attention span is way too short, so... Let's go straight to the point. You see, Clifford, they say that... The vast majority of people will never... <laughs> uh, oh my god. It's great. But you're not one of them. Right. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, Clifford, why don't you tell us? How big is your dick? Well, I mean, uh, what's your life about? And how... I, I'm so excited to learn all about it. My, it sounds so... Phony. Whoa. Phony, 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 phony. Whoa. She's a phony girl. Phone... Okay, I'm such a horrible actor. Yes, you are. Get the fuck out of my face. Hey, I thought we decided to get straight to the point. Yes. Clifford, we really need your help. We can't decide who's cuter. Trust me, it's not a trivial issue. The Look, Clifford. This is a story of your life. Whoa, getting deep. The end. It appears to be a little too empty, don't you think so? I, I, I think so, yeah. The thing is, we've allegedly lost its content. You, you're so phony, dude. What a phony. We have too many lives on our hands. Whoa. I used the word allegedly on purpose. I didn't hear her say it the first time. See, there's another possible explanation for the gaping void. My gaping void. Now fill my void with all your manhood. I'm sorry, I'll stop. If your life is meaningless, there's nothing to write about. Okay. <laughs> but I'm sure that's not the case with you, right? I hope not. Right, 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 right. What is this? Is that a thumbnail? That's a thumbnail. Okay. <clears throat> Pink hair. Come on, of course it's not true. Nana. My name is Nana, like banana. Let's admit it. We're to blame. Luckily, everything can be fixed. You could just tell us what your life is about. But how would we know? Whoa, she's getting creepy. If you're telling the truth. Eh, you're just gonna have to beat it out of me. Instead, I think it's better to observe you for a while. You know, me too. Yeah. That'd be the best way to fill in the blanks, don't you think? Mm-hmm. I'll fill in your blanks. Don't worry, Clifford. We won't bother you for too long. Oh, no. Alternate realities of time travel. We need you to be the real you. That's why we'll conduct the observation in our natural habitat. What's that? Sounds a bit rude. I admit, but you get to the point. Just be yourself, of course. I actually do live by those rules. A few days is all we need to get to the, st the story back of your life. Oh, God. You, you get an idea. I'll do my best to make these days magical, you hear? Okay. You're guaranteed to create a happy memory that will last a lifetime. Why, well, thank you, random girl. Have fun. Just remember, life is about money. Choices. Why did it say question marks? Oh, we're waking up in class. We fell asleep on, in class again. Psst, Clifford, can you hear me? Not sure what happened, but I'm kind of stuck here. Come and see for yourself. Hey, I'm right here. The whiteboard. It's me. I'm possessed. Whoa. Hello, mortal. Or should I keep referring to you by name? Sorry, I look like this. Can't do anything. You're a cat girl on a whiteboard. Well, at least I can change the vibe a bit. Hey. Yes, much better now. By the way, I'm a living human. Bullshit. Don't you believe me? Fine, I'll prove it. Ooh. This music is jamming, and she's fucking cute, dude. Well, hang on. I don't know how old she is. I take, I retract my statement. See, I walk up my two fight just fine. Alright, cool. You have no other choice but to admit it. I'm a real... <laughs> Reminds me of the song. Real human being. Okay. 
Maybe you're confused about my tail and Ketters. No, not confused at all. This is a Japanese game, I imagine. Well, I'm just lucky enough to have things like that. Yes, you are. I'm a lucky girl. Don't you believe in luck, Cliff? Uh, I do? Kind of? I hope you do. Luck is crucial. Wait, she went from apples to strawberries to cherries. I saw that shit. You can't fool me. You're not real. So your life is about choices you make. Guess what? Guess what? To make a good one, you need luck. Which reminds me, I have plenty of luck to share with you. Oh, nice. From now on, every time you stand at the crossroads, just look around and you may see me. What is this, like, sell your soul at the crossroads type deal? Well, maybe not every time. I do need to, I need, do need to sleep, you know. Okay. That was cute. Actually, I feel like taking a nap right now. And bananas. You're going to have a memorable time this week. Who knows? Maybe it's the beginning of a new year. I'm talking to a fucking whiteboard, dude. How, how low have I gotten? Okay, here it goes. Here goes what? Music is pretty fucking jamming though. It feels like I ended up in some sort of a tilted picture. Oh god, yeah, it's all wavy. It's making me sick. But decide to go straight. What's beyond the corner in front of me, I wonder. Truth be told, I'm both curious and scared to check it out. Can't stop the feeling that someone is silently observing me. It's that wall socket. He's alive. I know it. And why is there a different wallpaper on each wall? Oh my goodness. Keen eye, move closer and inspect that weird red arcade machine. Yeah, inspect it. Life, purpose, generator, press X. Whoa now, that's not what I call a sham. Press X to win. I pressed it. 187, now it looks like a slot machine. Whatever, I pressed the button. I did. Three numbers, 187, what does it mean? Okay, I'll give you one more try. 420! <laughs> Oh, you memed me. 424. Does it ring any bells? I think all three numbers should be the same to win something. Okay. Well, a life purpose is worth giving in another go. That's for sure. Oh my god. Come on, bro. It gets more and more random over time. Really? This is the game, huh? My purpose is to waste my life on a life purpose generator. 002313. What is this? One last attempt and I call it a day. Hey, those aren't numbers. I get three in a row. Three hieroglyphs. If I'm not mistaken, it means Japan. And, well, Japanese. Quite an entertaining slot machine, I must admit. Everything gets blurry. Japan, huh? Whoa. She's way too close to me. Rise and shine. How am I still falling asleep in class? I guess this is my home now. My wake-up call can't be this cute. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Hey, Nana. I was curious to see if you're alive. Just curious, not worried. Being worried is no fun. On second thought. Maybe I was curious in a worried type of way. Oh my god. Oh! How did you manage to fall asleep in such a weird pose? Was it difficult to lay on the desk? <laughs> I'm just like full-blown nude on top of my desk with my dick in my hand. <laughs> Who knows? By the way, the dream was so bizarre, I managed to remember it. Hey, tell me, will you pretty please? Was there anything lewd? Oh, you damn straight. What about me? Did I appear in your dream? Ha, you're blushing. It's confession time. Yeah, I was dreaming I was playing a similar game, Toki Toki Literature Cup. It was a pure and innocent dream, Nana. Here it goes. I do a quick about what happened in my dream. So I ended up with Japan, and then I woke up. Oh, that was my dream? How boring. And what's so special about Japan? I mean, we're here right now. Oh my gosh. Where else could they come up with such a marvelous idea like bringing this all here together? By the way, speaking of marvelous, you must see this. My tits! Yeah, I'm sorry. By the way, wait right here. This class has five students with very different backgrounds. Yes, five students only. In the media, they call it a groundbreaking educational initiative aimed to promote diversity, but we call it uh, population control. Yes, we killed all the kids who didn't meet our standards. This class is newly formed and we're here for one year only, so... It's more like an exchange program, heavily spiced with the media hype. Spiced. Anyway, the reason why I'm here is straightforward. I want to make my academic record stand out. The hype around this class makes it a perfect proving aid for my goal. And what's that? What's my goal? Two other girls enter the classroom. And then I just binge watch the whole series overnight. Ten episodes straight. Oh my. What a loser. I watch one each morning while having a breakfast. 
a breakfast. <laughs> That's ten times slower than me. <laughs> That's ten times more than I got to enjoy. Hey, check this out. I can't believe my eyes. Math, books, music, gym, 1030. This is way too fucking cute. Gift voucher for two. And that's a Dorja. How'd you swing that? The fuck is a Dorja? Lucky guess. I'm surprised it's even distributing gift vouchers. Yeah, they said it's an experiment. How about we experiment? Three girls, one guy? Who do you plan to go together with, Nana? <laughs> I fucking named Nana. Not sure yet, but I need somebody who knows how to have a good time. Place look literally look like an art museum. I mean, not that there's nothing wrong with that, but it looks kind of boring. I think I know a suitable candidate. <laughs> maybe it, maybe even in this room. I'll keep that in mind. Holy shit, that's a chonker. But you haven't seen everything. Check it out. What a cute kitty! But look at this. Ha! You know nothing about cute cats. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, I, I get to click on him. Hey. Looks like a kind of cheetah, too. Cute. The girls put their phones on the desk so each cat can be seen and compared to others. For me, they're all good. By judging by the way that it looks on the girls' faces, it's not that easy. We need a judge here. I hear my proposed Clifford to fill this role. Agreed. Approved. Well, which cat is the cutest one around? I mean, the sleeping one is so cute. It's a sleepy kitty. This one's cute. This one. Whoops, I better come up with a decent enough answer. Should I say that they're all great? No. I think I know a better answer. Let me show you another picture, ladies. I put my phone on the table, my cat on the screen. Uh, that cat is fucking ugly, dude. <laughs> I hereby propose a propose to strip Clifford of his position as judge. Yep, I, I, even I agree. Approved. There was an attempt. That cat fucking sucked. Ready for class, everyone? Honestly, I'm still half asleep. Wait, we're missing one. They said five students. We need one more student. Oh yeah, it's the other chick with the glasses. Honestly, I'm still half asleep. I know how to wake you up. Meditation. Medication, baby. What's the one that boosts you up? Adderall. Close your eyes, open your mouth. <laughs> oh yeah. Give you, give you both a... Both of these, no. Yeah, like this. Now concentrate. You feel great. You feel great. You feel refreshed. You feel ready to take on the day. More importantly, you need to praise Nana. <laughs> what the fuck? Works wonders, right? Jeez, I almost still have Nana. I still have a few more minutes before our class starts, so I decided to go talk to someone. Hmm. What was that? Talk to Seema. How are you? Good, thanks. She looks at me with her brilliant eyes and then smiles. That's the toughest part of the conversation, right? When you have to say something but nothing comes to mind? Awkward. To tell you the truth, I struggle with this just like you. I mean, I could have told you about a dream I saw once, but I don't see dreams. I don't see dreams? Can't be any better to tell her about the dream I had today. Wow, so exciting. And you say we stood in shining arcs? Oh, that was a dream? Yeah, and everything was blinking around you. As if it was a Bodo Kelly or Leonardo da Vinci painting. Botticelli. Maybe she's an art fan. If you haven't seen the masterpiece, go take a look. Mesmerizing. Uh, yeah. If your dream was true, it'd be so entertaining. Each day would be more and more exciting. Shame it's not going to happen. I mean, it's unlikely the studies... <coughs> I mean, it's unlikely that studies would be included in these four days, and you're here. On the other hand, I enjoy studying, so who knows? No, after all, your dream can't be true. It's just a fucking dream. God. Why do you think so? Think about it. How is it possible to change anything in just four days? It's impossible. By the way, it's very easy to test whether or not you're sleeping. Just pinch me. Like in a dream, it's not possible to think of it as a dream. What? No, of course not. It's much easier like this. Seema pinches me. Ouch. See? In a dream, you're unlikely to feel anything. Good morning. <laughs> Don't think it was convincing enough. I need to pinch you as well. Yeah, that's right. Pinch her. 
I'm afraid we don't know each other well enough to do this. Wow. Oh, this is my teacher. You may sit down. Forming a close bond with your teacher for a risk-fee high thrust environment. <laughs> a thigh thrust environment. I'll stop. That was advertised as a vital part of our experience here. Maybe that's why Taya advised teacher. God, what is wrong with me? Maybe that's why Taya teaches us every subject except for physical education. Oh, I need my physical education, and I also need my sexual education. Thank you very much. Not sure how it's possible. She's the real MVP. The MVP with the DSL. She has no lips, though. Okay, everyone, time for a literature class. Remember, no poetry allowed. What the fuck? I'm out, dude. I'm out. Where's the... Oh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> But that's cool, I can just go here and then leave. Okay, no poetry allowed. Oh, I almost forgot to check the attendance. Literally, there's like four fucking people in the class. I happen to know someone who's running late again. Oh, this dude. Huff, huff. So sorry for being late. What a douche. Can I go in? My, look who's here. She looks so fucking pissed. Not really pissed, but... Isn't this our most punctual student, Ermi? Ermi. What's your reason for being late today? I mean, it's only your third time this week. Well, uh... Let me guess, you overslept again, didn't you? Well, it's because I spent all night studying. I want to believe. <laughs> what the fuck is it that the poster from X-Files? I want to believe. Fine, Army. Please take your seat and don't be late again. Okay, class. I guess it'd be silly to ask you. Uh, I guess it'd be silly to ask if you like reading. You're smart enough to enjoy borrowing someone's mind for free, right? Okay, right. Well, this is it's, this is creepy, dude. Boop, just boop her on the head. Hmm. Maybe it's worth asking after all. Do you like reading? I do. Let me remind you to raise your hands. Just talk out loud. Oh, not to raise your hands. We're all friends here, remember? <laughs> I remember, we just met. I enjoy reading. I decide to answer next. I like reading, of course. I like reading. Reading is over. Oh, fuck her. She's dead to me. <laughs> Some books are just way too old. Bitch, get out of the class right now. Old things are outdated and useless. Oh my god, I hate her. What about old friends, Nana? Sorry, not old enough to have them. What? How old is she? loser all the stories are so predictable like when it's a murder case let me guess the butler did it come on you can always find that one book which is different Anna. exactly one in a million 90 percent of everything is crud what is going on here it's the sturgeon's law well all jokes aside people have too much to deal with in everyday life there's nothing wrong with reading a simple yet fascinating book to unwind and escape. I like reading, but I wish it could be more visual. It's co called comic books, graphic novels, you know. Yeah, it often takes so long to put an emphasis on something. Oh my god, I hate this trick. With visuals, it's so much easier to do this. Whoa. Get out of my face. Oh, dude, I'm going to punch her, dude. Get away from me. God, stop it. I said stop looking. I'm going to punch this bitch in the fucking... Get away from me. Oh my god, you stupid. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. You dumb bitch. <laughs> Fucking like a true visual connoisseur. You're a lot more mature than you look, aren't you, Nana? She's like, I'm 12. I like my coffee black, thank you. Well, well, she just went up a, a notch in my book, because I do drink my coffee black. Now, I like my coffee black like I like my women. Strong, black, bitter. <laughs> I wonder if you have any favorite books at all. I do. Watch it be the Bible or something. <laughs> now is the perfect time to learn about this. Seema. Seema. You all had to prepare a short speech about your favorite book. No plot recaps either. Interesting facts and thoughts only. We have enough time to cover two books today. Now yesterday you submitted your favorite titles. I narrowed the list down to three books. That's the best I could do. All three are masterpieces, and I'm no good at making choices. Clifford, why don't you help me? It seems that my book didn't make it to the shortlist. Here's the shortlist. Take a look at it. Of course, you've read all these books, right? Let's read them. The Catcher in the Rye. Nope, never read it. It's a story by 
JD something or Puck. I know what it's about though. The main hero's name is Holden Caulfield, age 16. Holden has been expelled from his school due to poor performance. Countless adventures await Holden on his way home. I like the little, you know, animated pet. Not animated, but you know. What the fuck is this called? Like comic panels, kind of. Okay. Countless adventures await Holden on his way home. He deals with issues like alienation, superficiality, and many more. What the fuck is this kid flying? The Kitchen and the Rice is considered one of the best um, coming of age stories. Crime and Punishment. I have not read this. Is a novel by Dostoevsky. First published in 1866. Focuses on mental anguish and moral dilemmas of Rodian Raskolnikov, a broke ex student. Rodian creates a plan to kill a pawnbroker to obtain her money. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, that's funny. But things don't go too smoothly after he performs the act. Radian finds himself in moral agony disgusted with what he has done. That's kind of a spoiler. I was looking forward to reading that and uh, yeah, I kind of know where it goes on. Winnie the Pooh is a short story collection. I don't think I've ever read Winnie the Pooh, but the book portrays the adventures of a boy named Christopher Robin. And his teddy bear called Winnie the Pooh. Dude, what the fuck? He's brown. Pooh together with many other characters. These are simple, fun, and innocent tales. Something that resembles friendship and child for all of us. I'm going to have to go with Winnie the Pooh, man. Oh boy, here we go. Go for time to take... <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. I kind of want to say I don't like any, but I gotta go with Winnie the Pooh. Why don't I pick Winnie the Pooh? Is this Nana's favorite? Oh my god damn it. It's the best book. Sure, for kids. Yeah, but it's, you know. Marta, trust me, you're only scratching the surface. Every character in this book represents a mental disorder. It's true. I didn't expect anything less of you. Whoa. Can't you see the gap? Wait, is this her gap? Honey? Oh my gosh. Sorry. Go away. I can see your thigh gap. Okay, I think I'm starting to fall in love with Nana. The gap in what they usually say about this book. Short stories. Actually, it's a story about a boy who's very, very lonely. So lonely that his friends are all imaginary. Oh god, that's sad. Although it's okay to imagine things as a child, this is a special case. All characters are manifested depending on Christopher Robin's mood, schizophrenia. That sucks, that's really fucking dark. Rabbit and Winnie the Pooh both are likely to have obsessive compulsive disorder. Eeyore, his bleak outlook on life, could be indicative of depressive disorder. Piglet's constant state of worry could mean generalized anxiety disorder, and Tigger might have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, also known as ADHD. I enjoy books with hidden messages. Wow. She just went up like five notches in my book, dude. And I think you're complicating things there. No, it's true. I'm amused how you turned a story about friendship into a dark and gloomy tale. <laughs> You'll get it when you grow up. I wonder which character you most identify with, Nana. Nana is our Tigger. <laughs> Who? Whore? Oh, it's, it's who are you? I'm just like, whore. You calling the tig? Who are you calling on Tigger? What the fuck is that face? <laughs> and look who's talking, Miss Rabbit. Okay, what about Seema? Hmm, Piglet? The only Piglet here is you, Nana. Haha, <laughs> wrecked. Maybe I'm too boring to, poo to properly represent a character after all. And who's our Christopher Robin? <laughs> Marta, it's inappropriate to joke about schizophrenia. You know, I once heard that every fourth person has it. <laughs> so lucky it's not me. I wonder if that's true. I have to fact check that. Me neither. Same here. Oh god, it's me. Maybe these are all imaginary. Dude, stop with this fucking... <laughs> Maybe they're all imaginary. Okay, class, let's take it easy, shall we? It's up to you to decide what to see in Winnie the Pooh. Cuddly animals or mental illness. By the way, Nana, you didn't say anything about our author, Alan Milne. Time often keeps the masterpiece, but omits the name of its author. Okay, class, how about we take a short break? Don't want you to dive into the second book straight away. Honestly, there's another reason. Please keep this between us, alright? Yesterday I got a present from my friend. It's so awesome. Look, it's a music box. Cool. 
I never understood why the music boxes always had a ballerina. Like, I don't know. All right, let's move on. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Okay. Um, let's do Crime and Punishment next. Why don't we pick Crime and Punishment? Oh shit, that's right, I was supposed to pick two. It's a favorite book of mine. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's my favorite now. It helps me to divide people into two big groups. I love this game. Oh, she can read Russian. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of hot, dude. She's she's multilingual. They're really huge. Oh my god. Imagine you want to learn more about the person you just met. Oh, I want to meet some more of these babies. I can it can take quite some time, especially if you don't meet too often. But there's a shortcut. Just ask that person if they prefer Dostoevsky to Leo Tolstoy. You see, Tolstoy portrays the world where horrible things happen to ordinary people. Dostoevsky portrays the world where ordinary people do horrible things. Hmm. Similar topics, entirely different approach. That's why people who prefer one author to another might have a lot in common. I'm not sure which I would prefer. Sima, do you prefer ordinary people doing horrible things? I admire strong burning emotions inside people, that's all. I think if I had to think about it, I would have to say horrible things happening to normal people because I feel like everybody's had something horrible happen to them. And I don't necessarily like knowing that normal people do horrible things. I mean, yeah, we're all we're all screwed up in one way or another, but I feel like just because a horrible thing has happened to a normal person doesn't mean they can't overcome their struggles. So we have a lot of those, like, not necessarily, it's like rags to riches, you know, just overcoming your struggles and battling versus ordinary people doing horrible things. It's like, well, then the ordinary person no longer is ordinary. They've become quote unquote evil. It's my opinion. I admire strong burning emotions inside all people. That's all. Maybe because I'm not that much of an emotional person myself. In my opinion, Tolstoy's characters are much more believable. Trust me, Dostoevsky got to know a lot about people. Not only did he work as a journalist and traveled a lot, he also spent four years in a prison camp. Can't stop thinking that Rodian's problems are created by himself. What stopped him from, say, getting a good job? If I were upon Riker, I'd ask him to be poor somewhere else. Well, Nana, I see you've read the book, but not carefully enough. Rodian hates not only the fact that he has little... Also, that a mere pawnbroker has more than him, an able young man. Rodian wanted the right to judge the value of human life. The problem of inequality, right? Something that communism tackles. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. Class, let's stay away from politics. They're detriment. <laughs> Thank you. She has the right answer. Anyway, thanks for your thoughts. Both Tulsi and Dostoevsky are, without a doubt, great authors and great minds. Maybe you can divide people into Dostoevsky and Tolstoy groups, but please don't base your opinion solely on that, okay? This is cool. I like talking about literature. If you have any questions, if you have any questions now, is now it's the time. What is your favorite book? Hmm, my favorite book, you say? It's The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint -Ex Exupéry. The Little Prince. I think they made that into a movie. I've been meaning to see that. Hey, you forgot about me. Let me tell you about my favorite book. It's going to be a manga or hentai or both. It's So Said Zarathustra by Nietzsche. Way to go. You managed to spell the name wrong. And what's so smart about it? I can't keep up with all these fucking names. Okay, actually it's considered to be one of the deepest books in the universe. I thought that was Gravity's Rainbow, but I don't know if it's deep, it's just weird. By whom, I wonder? The internet? See, this book says that animals, nature, everything is connected in this world. To evolve, we must think about complicated things and all. <laughs> They're all like, whatever. I mean, you got it all wrong. Then tell me what it's about. We should become Ubermensch to have some fun. Ha, <laughs> that's pretty close. I don't know what Ubermensch is. Forgive my ignorance. Shortly after the class ends, Taya leaves the class and stands near the door. Thanks for the lesson. 
Oh, Clifford, you're welcome. Glad to see you liked it. And do you like to teach us here? She better. You're special in a good sense of this word. Huh? It's important for me that you guys have your own opinion. Where did you work before? Oh my, too many places to remember. It is new... F Ugh. Is it new for you to teach almost all subjects at once? Yeah, they say it's an experiment, you know. However, it's true that I know a lot of subjects quite well. I take it you worked as a teacher for a long time. Is this high school or is this college? I'm not even sure. Look at him. Are you going to ask me how old I am next? Yes, how old are you? No, of course not. However, I don't even know your home country. How come? Oh, you. That means you haven't even read my profile in the booklet. What booklet? I actually lost it somewhere. I'm from Europe. But that's all... That's about all I'm going to uncover. Women are mysterious, you see. Blonde hair, green eyes. I don't know. Maybe... I'm guessing Ireland, Scotland. I have to run. See ya. We have after school activities, and I'm on my way to the club room. Members are Nana, Sima, Martanai. Can't take anyone from the other classes because it'd harm the experience. <laughs> We're about to get going when Ermi approached us. Ladies, you're looking good tonight. Thanks, Ermi. Eh. Is there anything you want to ask? Why don't you let me in? I promise to be a good member. Ermi, we just talk about silly things there. Silly things? We're going to discuss food today. I happen to be an expert on this subject. <laughs> just kidding. I know you never let me in. Clifford, can I have your attention for a moment? Oh, this guy? Look, I need your help. Keep it between us, alright? I'm trying to get with all these chicks. Recently, I've been making a computer game. I made a demo version, so I need someone to play. Feedback is key to improvement. Alright, you can count on me. He gives me a flash drive and leaves. This better be good. Feels comfy in our club room. Place is pretty old, so I bet it's witnessed a lot. I wonder what happened to the members of all the clubs from before. Where are these people now? Are they happy? I hereby declare an agenda for today's meeting. She's a leader. All members are to discuss food. The ever important topic, that's for sure. It is this a legitimate club activity? Just discussing random stuff? Bitch, you can leave right now. I would understand if we made time machines or played light music. I believe we have clubs like that already, Marta. Honestly, I enjoy the opportunity to unwind and just talk. We'll get disbanded. But we have four members, a legitimate minimum. I guess that's actually a thing. Four member minimum. I think Marta is more afraid about our seemingly unclear purpose as a club. Worry not. I, su <coughs> I submit an official report every club meeting. Really? How do you make it look meaningful on paper? Easy. Today, it's not about food. It's about acceptance. Acceptance. A social movement seeking to change bias and social attitudes. See, the latest thinking is that you should accept your body. Everyone knows that's bullshit. Meaning, among other things, that you can eat everything with little moderation. <laughs> Count me in as an activist. So, how is that related to our meeting? I don't like to make things up. No one makes it up anything. Why don't we talk about our guilty pleasures today? Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, and we can't eat... Oh. <sighs> Oh, and we can eat something tasty. After all, the word guilty is no more. Eat tasty things as much as I want. Is this real life? Wait. But will we get fat and all? Totally. That's the punchline. They say it's totally okay nowadays. But the boys always look at slim girls. <laughs> Rip. Uh oh, they're gonna ask me if I... Oh, God. Yes, I do. That's, that's an immediate yes. I'm sorry. What did you say? Uh, I, I do. Let's get started. I like potato chips. Whoa, it's a calorie bomb. Are you hating on me? She's like, are you hating on me, bitch? Grabbed your hair. Just a slip of the tongue. I'll slip my tongue. As for me, it's probably pizza. Can't live without the sweet things. Okay. What next? So, that's it for discussion. We need to find common ground. What about soft drinks? It's not food. What about cakes then? 
winning by an unanimous decision. Hey, let's make a perfect cake. We don't have any ingredients. Sure, we got sugar, spice, everything nice. Okay, let's go buy some. We have our budget. I already know what the perfect cake looks and tastes like. So do I. I know that as well. Looks like we're going to have a heated discussion. Hmm. Not if you're the one who makes the cake, Clifford. What? Great idea. If anything, you're the one to blame. But I can't read your minds. Well, then it means you have to test your luck. Alright, last question. How am I supposed to get the ingredients? And even if I manage to do it, we have no kitchen or anything like this here. Let's see, oh, oh dear. Why do you ruin our dream, Clifford? <laughs> a dream, you say? Let's try closing our eyes again. This time we won't be meditating. Now we use the power of visualization. If we visualize a cake, it will get attracted to us. Was that like the law of attraction? Behold, Clifford. Okay, here we go. I wonder where I should start. Let's begin from the base. Hmm, what do I have here? Oh, do I get to choose? What you call me? You called me a tart? <laughs> we want a cake, right? Yeah, put the fucking cake down. Done. What comes next? Well, you need to choose a tasty filling. Hmm, what do I have here? Nutella, cream, toothpaste. Oh my god, ketchup and rum raisin. We're gonna do custard. Yes. Last but not least, the topping. Hmm, what do we have here? Chocolate tinfoil, strange candy emblem, peach, strawberries. I'm gonna go with the cherries. Just one fucking cherry. <laughs> Uh, the imaginary kick is ready. I'll give it another go. No, it's ready. This looks a bit strange. I should have been the one making it. I appreciate your effort, but it doesn't look very good. What? Well, there was an attempt. Ever don't don't worry. It's still better than nothing. Wait, it's actually nothing, right? No one wants to make. No one. Ugh. No one wants my imaginary kick. How could they? How could they? In the end, our combined visualization powers were still not enough. <laughs> no shit. The cake was a lot. <laughs> oh, you cheeky bitch. Yummy. Better than your imaginary cakes, huh? Hey, go easy on my fancy cakes. Alright, alright, yeah. Thanks for the cookie, Sima. You're welcome. I'll bring more if you like it. How's the tea? Your Highness, the tea is... The tea is awesome. Cut it short. What a bitch. Glad you liked it. I found an awesome shop with Sencha, Genmaicha, and all. Whoa. You know a lot about it. I bet it's also very expensive. Yep, but it's well worth the money. By the way, Sima, is it true that you have a Hermes scarf? It is true, but I only wear it on weekends occasionally. I would wear it 24-7. Don't you think others would judge you? The brand is this famous? Oh yeah. I'll save my money and buy it on sale. And if this brand doesn't put their goods on sale, they don't need it. How foolish of them. I'd rather say it's foolish to discuss these topics when we have Clifford. I agree. Oh yeah, Clifford is highly unlikely to appreciate it. Let's talk about something fun then. Deal. Here's the story. Yesterday this guy calls me again and then... The one who expressed his feelings to you with a oh my oh love letter? Nana, don't make fun of... Knights in shining armor. They're almost extinct. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Yeah, he calls me then. Clifford, I'm sorry. We're getting distracted again. <laughs> right. Well, I tried my best. Go ahead and shoot your topic of choice. Where do you want to work? I'm talking about the future. I haven't thought about it yet. Look at this long cat. He's a long boy. I just realized that. Okay. I like this. This mug is tight. Boss. She's the boss. <laughs> hey, boss. What about marriage? Oh, right. We shouldn't forget about... Oh, my God. Clifford, what, a, what about your marriage? Nana. What? I'm just eating my cookie. I've been frozen in a place trying to eat this cookie for nine years. Actually, I'm totally cool with everything. It's warm and comfortable here. I feel like a fat cat laying out in the sun. Well. As I say, time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Mm-hmm. 
realize I forgot my notes in the classroom. I was on my way out when I stumbled across Seema. Hope you enjoyed the club today. It was memorable. By the way, I'm glad you picked Crime and Punishment today. Would have been a crime night. <laughs> what are you doing here? I wanted to write a report about our meeting, but I'm too tired. I think I'll just head home. Where to? Home, you jackass. Did you listen? Turned out... Turned out our... We live near each other. God, my brain hurts. I wonder if you qualify for a boy next door, Clifford. The only way to tell is for me to keep you company. Oh, sure, why not? Wow. Wow. Somehow I said it out loud. <laughs> What's up, right? <laughs> Never thought you'd accept. <laughs> I'm curious to hear why, Clifford. See, now, even we have a topic to discuss. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry we somewhat left you alone at the club. We got dragged away. It's okay, don't worry. But it's so nice of you to be worried, you know? Really managed to unwind, just chilling, listening to your debates. You guys really like to argue. Well, everyone does. <coughs> everyone likes to argue. If you know what it's all about, arguing means exchanging opinions, right? Mm hmm. Sure. Guess what? People tend to think that the key point of a debate is to win it. No, not really. They don't even understand that there are no right or wrong opinions, it's all subjective. It's a rather complex concept. Don't think too many would get it. <laughs> Look at me. That's why now I'd rather stay away from arguing than wasting my time. Meaning that before you used to like debates? You bet. But it all went downhill after one day. I got crushed by Ben Shapiro. Never again, I said. Never again. Tell me the story. Well, they tried to gather a women's volleyball team to represent my city at one big tournament. Before, that team was comprised most... Yeah. Before, that team was comprised mainly of girls from the same school. They had the best training grounds, great coach, lots of experience. Then it was decided that they don't give other girls any chance to play at all. Next thing you know, they said that half of the roster should be filled from other schools. And their reasoning? Equality. What happened next? They booted me out when I said they don't understand what equality means. What do you mean? Equality is when the team consists of the best players in town regardless of their schools. Something tells me the new team didn't win the tournament. They were destroyed. My, I probably picked yet another boring topic. Um, uh, I'm fine with it. I swear. I swear. No way. We must start casual chit chat like normal people do. Chit chat about what? Um, well, the cats and fancy dresses and everything. <laughs> Sometimes we talk about sophisticated things, but it's not on purpose. I try my best to hide a smile. Well, that's what I'm doing. It is adorable. It's evening already. Time sure flies. So, what's so surprising about us walking home together? Oh, it's, uh, well, like I told you, I never thought you'd accept. You seem a bit distant and resorted, that's why. Did it say resorted? Or did it mean reserved? Hey, that's not true. Maybe it seems like that way because of the way I behave. And yes, it takes up some time to open up, but it's only normal. I always mind my nanners. Did I say nanners? I meant to say ma manners. I'm sorry I got distracted. Don't you think it can lead people away? Not really. Why? Let's say you run into someone who wears the same outfit as you. Oh my, Clifford, you picked the worst example for a girl. <laughs> In that case, I tried to cross the street. Really? I just wanted to say a lot of people won't have enough courage to approach you. Who knows, maybe one of them could have become your friend. Instead, they would simply think you're not interested. Clifford, you don't get... Clifford, don't get me started about that, okay? Did I say there's something wrong? No, it's just... Well, that's a different story. Maybe I'll tell you later. I always thought Seema's been very popular throughout her life, but... Somehow, her words make me less confident about it. Anyway, real friends are so rare that... I'm unlikely to find them in the streets. Ah, uh, It's worth a try, I think, because a friend can stay with you forever. I'm afraid my friendship don't last, Cliff. I'm afraid my friendships don't last, Cliff. Rip. What happens? I tend to think that people are good friends while you're even. Wait. I tend to think that people are good friends while you're even. What the fuck does that mean? 
However, as soon as you start doing better, they think they're out of their league and become increasingly distant. What the fuck, you're just friends. Don't know whether they're envious or just feeling uncomfortable. I think I know what you're talking about. But what you probably don't know is that I come from a wealthy, noble family. Trust me, it makes things even worse. Something tells me you never make a big deal out of it. Exactly. Still, my social, bleh, my social status alone is enough for people to alienate me. Money ruins friendships. It's even worse. Friends often become leeches. They spelled leeches wrong. When I'm not able to help them, they're all like... But it means nothing to you. What a Scrooge. Yeah, those aren't your friends. Have you tried looking for someone within your social circle? I can't deal with rich kids. Oh dear, this crowd. Today I chose crime and punishment, but in fact I should have gone with Vanity Fair. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't mind being your friend. What for? I don't think there should be a reason. Oh, she's blushing. She whispers something. What did you say? I said we'll see. And now it's time for me to go, Clifford. I enjoyed the discussion, you know, if we talk about first impression. You certainly seem different from others. Question is, will you make the impression last? See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ten minutes walk, and then tea and slippers. Home sweet home. Okay, I think that's enough for about one episode. I don't know how long the game is. But I feel like right now is a good time for a cutoff. I hope you guys enjoy this little detour of a game. I just want to try it out, you know, break up the monotony. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Don't be a beast. Subscribe to me.